okay. Some things that we notice here. Exact values of 30, notice sine of 30 degrees is equal to cosine of what? 60, because you're talking about the opposite side of 30 is the adjacent side to the 60 degree angle. That's why they're both ones and the hypotenuse stays the same too. And the same thing here, the adjacent of the 30 degree cosine angle is the opposite for the 60 degree angle, so that's why the sine of 60 and the cosine of 30 have the same answers. And the same is going to be true for tangent of 30, cotangent 60, and tangent 60, cotangent 30. Why? You can tell this, if sine of 30 degrees equals 1 half, it's a cosine of 60. So, the sine of 90 degrees minus the theta is equal to regular cosine theta. And conversely, if I take the cosine of the 90 minus theta, meaning here, if theta is 30 degrees, what's 90 minus 30? It would be 60, all right? 90 minus 30 would be 60. So cosine, notice that's 60. 90 minus 30 makes 60. Equals the sine of 30, where we started with. They both were 1 half, all right? And the same thing is going to be true for all of these. If you were to take it, because what we saw, because this angle here makes it the, the side opposite here is the adjacent there, and the adjacent here is the opposite here. That's why this works, and it works for all six of these particular functions. So we can conclude that we have some relationships. I call this kind of like a complementary type of relationship.